Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here at Ram Off Road Park, just east of Colorado Springs. And we are out here to do one point, well, two, not 1.5. We do a 1.5 version of a shakedown for Big B's Rubicon. Newly installed, Rusty's two and a half inch? Three. Uh, three, inch. three inch lift and freshly installed 35 inch Mickey Thompson Baja bosses. Uh, I know that if you follow the channel last year, I did my shakedown here after bringing the Xterra out of storage, so I figured this is a good place to just quick 25 minute drive and you're here. Got some rocks and stuff that we can check it out on. It's not too busy today yet, but give another hour or two, this place will probably be crawling with dirt bikes. Uh, so we're gonna try this out. Uh, if you remember last Xterra video I made, Brandon, we were out here trying to shake this thing down that time and he got called away to fight a forest fire. So real American hero right there. Real American heroes. No? About all that. Nothing? No? Okay. All right, so let's go let's go hit the trails. Yeah, you're looking good, run straight up. Be easy as it comes down, about to start dropping. Yeah, I'll just get it. You look good, straight up and down. So you might want to start coming driver though a little bit. Well, we're here at the off-road park. We came over here to try this little rock obstacle they have. And Eli, looks like he's got himself into a bit of a pickle. So we are going to uh, try to help out and anchor him with, with B's truck. Because if you can see it, he's uh, precarious on the edge of these rocks here. And looks like it could be a slippery situation. I've never met Eli or Ethan. But hey, this is what we do in the off-road world. We help each other out.
obstacle on the rocks has turned into more of a uh, repair project because this happened it's not supposed to be like that so uh, yeah the beauty part about the Titan swap is that this is how that mounts onto the differential you know you got this uh, flange style so you just take the bolts out and you just take it off and I'm gonna limp it home or as opposed to a standard exterior shaft Usually it breaks somewhere in here, which is inside the diff. 
and uh, it gets stuck in there and you got to pull it off and it's a pain in the butt. You got to get all that out without leaving pieces inside it and it's kind of rough. Um, luckily I have that example for you because I brought the wrong spare axle today. So I am running home with no front CV. Should be okay. Uh, you like what I'm doing? Like, click, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time.